Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create a 404 page in the front page if a user do not have access to any route. So you know that currently this is the user we have a login like admin3. If I check out the user table, this is admin3 and the user type is admin. That's why he can display everything here. But if he, the user type is not an admin, he cannot have access to this data. This is what we did in the previous uh, video for for the controller if i check out the controller for this one if i come here you know going to profile user controller going to the index yeah we say that user should be authorized to have access to this information this is fine for this part and for the users you know we said that if the user is an admin then send the http request otherwise do not send an http request so what i'm going to do is just look up here mm. I just want to display the user type here so that we can see that is easy if I come here to the master page going all the way up here is the dashboard and here is the user we have authenticated user and instead of this one I will just write user type so you can just put it in a little paragraph maybe to see the user type save it and this time if I refresh my page it should display the user type here to just see that the current user type displaying here so uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to change the user type here from admin to U standard user so I will change it to standard user I will update this one so yes update effective but it did not change here unless we refresh the page because this part of our application is not using Vue.js but if I go to developer if I come back to user now it is not going to send any HTTP request to the server for getting the data. What I am going to do is, instead of showing the table, it should display the the 404 page. For for instance, if I refresh the page, it is not going to give us the menu. It is not going to display the menu for us. So refresh the page. It is not displaying the menu, but we are in the user directory here. That's why it displays something empty here. So that is what we did in the previous video. What I am going to do is, Instead of showing something empty, I just want to show a 404 page to tell the user that you do not have access to this page or you are looking for something that does not exist. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a SVG uh, uh, graphic here. Here is a website, a very nice website called andra.co slash illustrations. You can come here and download so many nice SVGs. So you can pick one, but I will just pick randomly. Let's say if I come here, yeah, here is the question. Maybe I can put this one. This is not related to 404. You can just scroll down. They have a lot of them, but I will just stick with this one. I will download it. And now inside my code, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another component. So I can just uh, take the example component, save us. Control shift is will save us this one and I will give it a not found that view name here. So this is the not found and we do need this code here instead of the container displaying all of stuff like this. Let me see. Mm, okay, it should take like 10 out of 12, but it should not be a card. We do need this one, but here we should display the SVG so if I go to my downloads here is the SVG we have just downloaded let me check which one of the file is the SVG or we didn't download maybe so if I come here yeah eh, we are using the edge that's why they say either you want to save or not if I open the folder this is what we want so just open your SVG in your text editor it will give you the SVG code here I am going to use the code only here and paste the SVG code here it is easy like you can link it but i just want to display the whole svg because it is a lot faster to paste the svg content here now it will display the svg file right here so this is the not found component i'm going to register it so in my app.view i can just do is i can use this this style of registering you know what is this style this is going to dis the going to register something globally so this is the global way of registering a component 
so I think we have a uh, quite a few here yeah here is for Laravel passport I will duplicate this one I, uh, I will give it a name of not found and where are these going to go it is going to the component directory and are we in the component yeah it should go to the component and it will take the not found that view so if I save it of course in the background I am running the compiler here it should compile down our file now yeah it did everything is working just fine now we have access to this component anywhere in our application so what I'm going to do is first I just want to display it let's say in the dash in the dashboard here to see how it is going to look so in the dashboard if someone going to the dashboard let's check out here's the dashboard component so instead of all of this code I will just write my tag here and then closing not found so if I save it for now I hope it works just fine because we started globally you don't need to import it here so if I come to internet edge and refresh the page yeah it display but it is too big like this one so what you can do is you can give it a little styling but if I go and open the SVG we have for the not found here just read it a little bit you will understand that they have a width and height here here is the height and width so what you can do is you can just give it like 600 width and the height should be like 100 maybe percent if I just give it such a name and save it I just save it and let's refresh the page again waiting for the compile yes we refresh the page and it compile yeah now it is going to display something like this so I just want to display it a little bit down so what I can do is I can come here and say MT or mar margin top it will give a little margin from the top so this time if I refresh the page let's see if it looks beautiful yeah it is what we want this is fine for now of course you can design it the way you want you can display any text but for me yeah I, I can also display a small text here so what I'm going to do is h3 and we give it a class so it is not showing so we should write h3 class maybe we do need the class but don't know what happened to my editor it is not auto completing about not found what you are looking so I will save it this time we wait for the compile yes and refresh the page it should display a text above the yeah it is looking fine for now now anywhere in your application you can use the not found component so for the user also how you are going to use this one here is the user component if I come all the way up here I will just close some of this if I close this portion it will close it, everything except for the model here is for the model yeah you know this is the container and it's the container should be inside the container you can have multiple classes like you cannot write any div here so if you open something here it will give you an error because the child component uh, the child after the template must there must be a tag inside that tag you have you can have another like maybe child tag something like that so what I can do is I will just come here and I will just write uh, let's say a div and I will close it I don't know why it does not auto complete this stuff so I will just write the not found component here plus here I will write our condition so what is our condition we can say v hyphen if the same way we have here this is going to display if the user is admin so if I come here and write it down like this I will just write exclamation mark here if the user is not admin display something like this so if I save it this time it save the file and I will come to edge here and refresh the page 
it, it display now 404 for the dashboard but if I go to user let's say and I go to user yeah if I refresh it check out what is going to display no it did not display anything so if I inspect element and see what is wrong in the console we have some errors like view yeah they are going to send a request to the user in the network tab let's see what they are going to achieve so if I refresh it yeah we need the XHR request so again refresh the page there must be something wrong with this idiot editor maybe the, uh, this uh, edge stuff like this that's why it does not display anything but for the user router you know if I come to my app here is our router mm, yeah for users not users so if I come here sorry for the little mistake here so users if I refresh it now it is the user yeah it will just say not found so what you can do is you can create another uh, let's say route to display if the user is not found or any other route it should display a 404 page like this for now it does not display any 404 page but if someone come to the user they do not have access it will show like this but if I come to the PHP my admin and display the user type to admin for now if I refresh this one this is not an admin this should be a simple user the, the type so if they load yeah this is this admin 3 is a user so what I can do is I can change it to admin this time if I refresh the page the current user is going to display the all user with tables and everything yeah it is working just fine and if you do not have permission it is going to display the 404 page like the one you see in the dashboard this is how you can do this one and there are some other equations that arises for from people who asking what if you have different permission for the different user like one route if I come to my controller user controller there's say two type of user want to access this part of your application one admin let's say one author how you can do this one you can write authorize here so that is what we are going to discuss in the next video that is quite easy but we will use allow and deny if you wanna learn if you wanna go and search about them just search in the documentation but I will do that in the next video so see you in the next video